Hello there and welcome to this guide for painting the Sentinel Prime for Marvel Crisis Protocol. I really hope it helps. As you can see the first thing I did um, after assembly was to spray the model with a matte black. Now I normally use Colorfords because I think they are the absolute best sprays on the market. First thing I'm going to do is get a relatively large brush and I'm going to start painting all the areas that um, are going to be blue with some Cantor blue. Take your time with this as you want to make sure you're getting all those nooks and crannies as there are quite a lot of segmented areas on the legs and the arms and the chest. If you're unsure where to paint, just do a quick Google search and follow the image online. With the Cantor Blue applied, I then went ahead and put down a wash of Drakenoff Nightshade. With the wash, we're mainly trying to get in the recesses, so when you're doing it, make sure you push all the wash around so nothing pulls in the flatter areas, otherwise you'll end up with quite an unseemly look. Once the wash had dried, I then went ahead and mixed some Cantor Blue with some Iron Hand Steel. Now, I did the about 70-30 for the first mix because the model um, is meant to look a little bit metallic and I like the look of the blue metallic and I don't have any at hand, so I thought I'd mix up a batch of my own. I added some more Iron Hand Steel to the mix, creating a 50-50 mix this time to work on um, all the edge highlighting. Next up, I'll use some Nagaroth Knight to start painting in the purple areas. Again, if you're unsure where these are, just have a look at the box art or Google a picture online. After that, we'll wash all those areas with some Drucci Violet. Once that wash is dried, we're going to mix some Xerus Purple with some Iron Hand Steel for the same effect as we did with the blue and paint all over, uh, leaving out the recesses. And just like the blue, it'll also be a 70-30 mix. Next, we'll add a little bit more Iron Hand Steel to the mix, creating a 50-50 mix, and we'll just do the outer edges. Next, I'm going to paint the wires and the closer joints to the hips and the arms are bad and black. If you're unsure where any of these places are, just do a quick Google search for reference. I'm then going to use Corvus Black as a highlight on things like the wires and any joints that to me would sort of make sense to be rubber on the model. I'm then going to use Iron Warriors to do an edge highlight on all the areas of black that I feel would be more metallic. And finally I'm going to use some Iron Hand Steel to pick out some corners and edges on the bits we've painted all the way through the model including the black, the blue and the purple. Next, I'll give the face several layers of Morgast bone. Um, it's going to take a few layers because I'm painting a very light color onto black. Once that's out of the way, I'm going to use some Army Painter Soft Tone to paint the very edges of the nose. And there's a couple of lines that I'm also going to run the wash down as well. After that, I'm going to use some Wild Rider Red to paint any areas of the model that would have like an energy source. So that includes the eyes, the chest plate, the repulsors on the hands and there's a couple of exhaust ports on the back that I'm going to paint as well. I'll then throw in some Fire Dragon Bright to the Wild Rider Red for a 50-50 mix to start brightening up this energy port, followed by Fire Dragon Bright just by itself. I'm then going to do a 50-50 mix of Flash Kits Yellow and Fire Dragon Bright to brighten the area up even more. And then finally, flash gets yellow just by itself, mostly confined to the center. This will have given the soft tone plenty of time to dry, so then I'm gonna mix some Shabti Burn with the Morgast Burn to do the next highlight on the face. Followed by your Shabti Burn just by itself to do the edge highlighting. And with that, that's the main model out of the way. So now it's time to paint the base. I'm gonna use some Dawnstone Gray to paint all the areas that are concrete. This will then be given an edge highlight with some gray sear. For the manhole cover that you can only just see, I'm gonna use some Iron Hand Steel. And for the bits of rebar and other metal jutting out of the rubble, I'm gonna use some Iron Warriors. I'm then going to tidy up the base using some Abaddon Black. 
And then finally, I'm going to use some Agrax Earthshade to give the entire base a nice wash that will be watered down with a little bit of water. And there we have it, that's the Sentinel finished. It didn't take too long whatsoever. It's a really lovely model again. Once again, Atomic Mass really do fantastic models. He barely took any time to paint whatsoever, only four hours in total, thereabouts. Um, the most important thing I would suggest is def definitely try and get that metallic mix as spot on as you can and everything will be set. If you've used this guide, I hope it's been useful. Um, I hope you've learned a few tips and tricks on the way. And if you want to see more, give a thumbs up and a subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.